Welcome to Cromwell 13649, the Roman Coin Master. Which machine do I take? I'm going to this new patch of pasture land. And uh, I don't expect to find much. But look, I've got the Equinox 800 here. I've got the Euro Ace here. I've got the AT Pro here. I've got the Ace 250 here. I've got the Deus here, XP Deus. I've got a new machine I've just acquired here. It's called the Mine Lab Musketeer. And I've got the Underwater Garrett Sea Hunter. I guess that one's going to be left out today because there's nowhere here. I know where I can go underwater, not nearby anyway. So that one's out. I've got this one which I've not tried yet. I've got this one which I've not tried yet because I've had it a few months and I need the console for it and I don't really want to go without the console. Uh, I don't want to just rely on tones. I want to see numbers as well. That's how I detect numbers and tones. Uh, this little beauty here has found me such fantastic stuff. I'm very tempted to go with this today. This one I started years ago. Found some good stuff with that one. That one I've acquired through a swap. And this one, uh, I can't say it's my favourite, but I guess it's my second favourite, the AT Pro. I understand this machine inside out. That's why I like it. I don't know where to go. So I'm down to that one, the AT Pro, and the Equinox 800. That's okay for the woods. I don't plan on doing any woods. The mosquitoes are just crazy here this year. So, which one do I take? All right. I'm going with the Equinox 800. Because I've done this round before and I think I did it with the AT Pro. But it'd be just good to see what this one does as opposed to that one. So, there we go. I've now got seven machines, might start selling some of them off. If anybody's interested, let me know. But I won't be letting go of that and I won't be letting go of that. So, see you on the field folks in a bit. Right. It's off detecting. First target, this was my only fear about coming up here. This is the only pasture land I've got. This is it. And everybody uses it, as you can see. 
Well, that's my second find, and that was well, well up in the 20s, 26, 27 on the 800. Nothing much, don't know what it is. I think it's made of copper, though. I've got a 27 up to 40 here, and it's right near a bench look, so I'm hoping it might be a drop coin. And here it is. Whatever the hell that is, I do not know. Give me a cracking signal and I'm not really interested in it. So sorry fellas, doing my best and at least I'm out anyway. Uh, there's some people coming with dogs now. So best fill this hole in and make it nice and neat. So first find of anything good. Uh, 1994, it's probably a dog tag or something like that. I think it says 1994 in it. Can you see that? Look, I, I didn't bring my glasses with me, so probably a dog tag. The only thing worth finding so far that give me a good signal up in the I-20s. So I'm happy with that. I've had one or two people milling around with dogs, so I've got to be careful because I've got Mikey with me. So I've just had a nice signal back there where that bench is and it just turned out to be a brass screw. Uh, benches are always a good place to go around because people sit down and money falls out of the pocket and it seems that's what's happened here. Or there have been a few kids and the kids roll about and I've had a signal here and a coin in there. don't know what it is. Yes I do. Terrible aluminium money. I hate it. So this is where I just filled that hole in and I'd empty it out again. I got an aluminium coin out there and uh, filled it in again, run over with a coil, which is what you should always do. And I've got another signal and it's around here somewhere. So we'll dig that out and come back to you in a minute. All right, fellas, it's out and it's in that piece there. So let's break it up and see what it is. This thing just goes off on its own. I've got one in for repair. I had to keep turning it off and back on again. It's in there somewhere. Look. There it is, I can see it. There it is. There it is, and it's the same coin. I won't take it out yet. It's the same type of coin. It's an aluminium coin. So a little coin spill from I think 1950s or something like that. I'll check it when we get back and give you the date on it. So two coins in the same hole. Right, if you have a look here. 27 up to 35. Beautiful signal. So I've got to dig that one. I'll come back to you in a minute. And there's the target, a tin can. So that was a wasted uh, dig. So we've got a nice tone on this one and a 25. And I'm not sure where it is. But it's in there somewhere. So let's try the pinpoint. just goes off on its own. So it's somewhere around there, I guess. There it is. It's a bottle top, look. 25 for a bottle top. Just got a beautiful 30 signal. It said it weren't deep, so I thought I'd use the leche down there to dig it out. And sure enough, it was just under the surface. Nothing much. Don't know what that might be off, maybe a tap or something where the pipe goes through the middle and then you screw it up. 
again not very interesting 20 signal and it's a car aerial <laughs> last thing I expected to find I uh, never found one before though so I guess I can add that to my list well this is all I seem to be finding is tubing and it's modern obviously I don't know whether that's copper it's got some silver shining on there maybe it's copper that's been plated with chrome I don't know but I'm not interested I'll take it with me so I don't dig it up again uh, I don't think this is anything much here I don't know if we're going to have a few minutes on the Roman field if I can get on it I'm pretty sure I can't I'm done now till September so I'll work my way back down to the car and then I'll decide what I'm doing from there so I've just put the plug back in there and look what I found you know what that is don't you it's a snake skin look I don't know what type of snake it is but I'm told there's nothing poisonous around here there's a bit more of it so probably if you add that up it's a couple of feet long uh, do get them around there we had one in the toilet one time when we had an American visitor and had one in the garden one time which he captured only a couple of feet long two and a half feet long aggressive little buggers though they are uh, but they're not venomous so I'm told you're right Mikey hey eh? leave that leave it come on let's go let's go back to the car eh? do you want Mikey look at me Mikey look at me hey look look at me hey my little boy hey all right I've just thrown my kit in the back here and I spotted something over there which I want to go and film I think there might be beehives I'm not sure we'll go over and have a look looking a bit dark over there might get some rain in a bit uh, I think these are probably beehives yeah 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 I can see all bees around them so I don't want to take the chance there they are going in and out look um, don't want to disturb these buggers I did that once before when I paid the price <laughs> but let me zoom in you can see them going in going in there in and out interesting all right so zoom out go back to the car and I might just go up to the Roman field to see if there's a patch or an area I can do I can just feel a couple of spots of rain on me here's Mikey he's been sat outside of the car for God knows how long telling me I want to go home so he's had enough <laughs> 